In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use our Avalonix Premium Series of cameras here at CCTV Camera World with your camera systems. I'm going to be demonstrating a PTZ camera system here. So I basically go in and type in the app that I want to open up. I already have my entry added. We have videos and guides on how to add NVRs and cameras independently. In this case, I've added two cameras to my NVR. On the right hand side is a 4X PTZ. I can use controls on the app to control the PTZ. I can also use controls to increase the quality of the picture. As you notice, I clicked on the little icon that said SD, it turned to HD here on the bottom in, in the middle of the black bar. I click on it again. It lets me basically manage how much data I'm getting through the NVR in case I have a slow internet connection. In my case right now, I'm on a Wi-Fi connection. I click on this button for a PTZ control and I can turn it left and right. And I can also zoom in. So there's fluid PTZ controls available through the app, depending on the network connection that you have between the camera and your phone. Since I'm on Wi-Fi, everything is pretty quick and snappy. Now the PTZs intelligently reduce their speed when you're zoomed in all the way, because that's what you need, a slower speed to be able to zoom in and scan at a slower speed. All of our Pantel Zoom cameras by Avalonix Premium Series also have the ability to configure presets, which can be done using the web interface on the camera or through an NVR if you set up a full PTZ camera system. By clicking on this flag icon on the bottom right hand side and dialing in the preset number that you set, hit the check mark and the camera would basically go to those coordinates and zoom in if you set a zoom level as well. So I have another preset here, number three, I'm gonna click on that. It's actually gonna go to that side on the right hand side and zoom in and now if i dial in preset number one it will go back and return to my previous position i've also basically set this preset one as my home position in case i forget to put the camera back where i always want it to be it can return back to the home position this is a configuration setting you can set on the cameras lastly if your camera has a microphone built in you can also click on the speaker icon and hear audio from the outside Cameras have a pickup distance of voice in a quiet room up to 30 feet in the direction of where the microphone is located on the camera. In my case, my camera is mounted, at, mounted outside and I can hear wind noise and vehicles passing by. Now, I'm going to show you the power of our 48 times PTZ. I just showed you the power of our 4 times PTZ. This is a 48 times. Click on the PTZ control. Zoom in and out. I can surveil my property while away from home. And the intuitive control and joystick here lets you really be able to navigate whatever you want. And if there's a point of interest you need to see, you can zoom in and toggle these controls. With the web interface, of course, you do get better control using the 3D targeting method, which is not available here. But you can pick up a lot of detail, as I'm showing you here in my demo. So now I'm going to zoom back out. And here you go. This is a quick overview of what you can do. With the app now if you had a camera with a speaker let me switch over to the other camera you can swipe and go to another camera and you can activate the speaker mode since i'm recording audio you won't be able to hear it through the app but it does offer that option and if you had a two-way speaker as well set up with your ptz camera you can actually talk through it by using talk with channel option right there you can take snapshots save them in your photos if your camera had a wiper in my case the other camera does I can press this button and it will activate the wiper for how many ever seconds you need it to. And there you go. You can even activate the wiper through the mobile app. You can stop it, pause it, etc. This button here, the light bulb, is for active deterrence. If you have an active deterrence camera, you can certainly activate that as well. If your camera is recording, you can go to playback and you can select from the timeline. 
where you want to be able to play back from. Bottom right hand picture is a is a picture in picture view. And this is a playing back in the larger screen in the, in the background, the recorded video from the camera. You can close out the live view if you know, you don't need it. And then you can go back the live view and keep viewing the camera. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.